Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and today we are taking a look at the Nature Starter Kit 2 asset on the Unity Asset Store. Now, this is something which has been um, requested quite a lot over the years I've been doing this, and I know people use it quite a lot. Um, I figured I would actually do a review about this, um, specifically because we are in the year 2019 now, and this asset has been around for quite some time, so there's probably a couple of things you should know. Quality-wise, it is actually rather nice. I'm not going to lie, it is a very nice asset for beginners to just simply download, take a look at, and play around with. Quantity-wise, there is a fair amount here. There's, you know, bushes, there's trees, there's the good old scene that I like, that demo scene. I always love a good demo scene. Um, playing the materials, the animation for the camera, and the textures, as you would expect. So if you're creating a nice green area full of trees, grass, flowers, plants, this is actually going to be pretty decent. Um, there are a few drawbacks to this asset, especially uh, where we are now in 2019, and unfortunately it does hold the asset back. It really does need updating on the asset store, so the developer probably does need to do something a little bit with it. Uh, what I mean by that is, by default, if you download this asset, you will be presented with a couple of errors, at least these two errors. Now, they're nothing drastic. It just means you have to do a couple of things. So if you go into the actual uh, error itself, it will take you to this line right here. And you can see that the script, it, there's an error. All we need to do is add the word now with a capital N there. And then when we save, it will get rid of that one. And then same again with this error. We just need to add the word now and save. So that will get rid of the two errors that you are presented with here. Again, it does kind of bother me a little bit that we have to do stuff like that when we actually bring an asset in. By default, everything should work as intended. Unfortunately, it doesn't. But it's just a case of adding that word now to there. You don't necessarily have to. You could basically get rid of it. You don't need to have those scripts there, as it were, because the post-processing, and I use that in a uh, quote, isn't the actual post-processing post stack v2 that we get in the package manager and the asset store. It still has some great stuff to it. You can see here it's got the global fog, sun shafts, bloom, all the stuff you'd naturally expect to see in uh, the post-processing stack. But yes, it does look nice. I, I can't deny that. It does look very nice. But I think we're still maybe better off using the V2 post-processing stack or whatever it is as of now, because this one is quite old. So it still looks nice. And despite the fact, you know, we've added the post-processing here stack, it, it's just down to variation and down to personal preference. So I actually kind of like how it all looks. I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to lie about that. It visually looks nice no matter what post-processing profile you apply. I just think that its versatility due to those little problems, especially with the script, can be a little bit distracting. But it's free. It is absolutely free. And I guess you can't knock anything that's free. It's 67.5 megabytes, so it's not huge. It's not small. But, you know, for, for someone that's not new to Unity but kind of knows what they're doing a little bit, I guess it's, you know, it's fairly decent. And, to, you know, going back to the whole thing of old post-processing like we have here, it's still quite nice and you could still use it. You could still develop with it. Don't get me wrong. So you, you just have to keep in mind that it's not quite for everyone. It's nice to play around with. It's nice to deal with and probably nice to learn new things with. But, and this is a big but, I don't think it's recommendable for everyone. So like you guys know, I like to either recommend or not recommend. I don't like to rate assets and I would not really recommend this one for most people. I would recommend it for people who have used Unity a little bit, but that's really it. I wouldn't recommend it for absolute beginners and I wouldn't recommend it for people who are intermediate and above. I think it's more something just like a little playground to play around with and learn a couple of new things more than anything. So, guys, um, let me know, have you used this asset? And if you have, please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. 
Um, don't forget, click subscribe, click the bell icon as well. Stay up to date with everything about game development on my channel. And if you have an asset on the asset store yourself, please let me know. Guys, thank you very much for watching.